All right, I'm about to run out the door to drop off some stuff at my friend's house, so I have time to just record a few things before they leave my space forever. Passing on to him some tarot card and oracle card sets. Here's another tarot set. This one I think I bought on Impulse a few years ago, and I never, ever, ever use it. I looked at it like once. I like the art okay, but not enough to ever use it, and it's a huge box, so I'm getting rid of it. And then these were gifts because um, people know that I'm a fan of La Santa Muerte, um, but that doesn't mean that I want Santa Muerte oracle cards and Santa Muerte tarot sets because I'm not really gonna use these. So I don't need to keep them just because they're kind of cool and just because someone gave them to me. And I hope that whoever gave them to me is not watching this video because that would be awkward, but I gotta let them go. So my friend is pretty excited to receive these, I think. And I'm also giving that friend you already met. I think you met this guy in one video. Can't remember if you met this one. So he's going to get both of them. And also I'm decluttering 21 books today. And also going to finally say goodbye to this priest cassock pattern that I got from eBay years and years and years ago. But I don't sew, and I can never find anyone to sew this for me. I've, I've sort of half-assedly tried a couple of times, but the pattern size is not even my size. It's a little small, so I thought, um, oh, well, that should be no big deal, because a sewer can just make magic happen and make it bigger. It's just too big of a project. It doesn't seem like that big of a project, but it's a big project. And especially if you pay the labor that it costs to do it right, suddenly it's like, well... I don't really need a $500 or $1,000 priest cassock like this that I'm never going to wear. Probably, I mean, maybe I would wear it once in a while if I had one, but come on, man. I've had this pattern for probably 20 years. It's not going to happen. I'm letting it go. And just in case I get rid of some of these on my way out the door too, here's part of the pile of books I'm getting rid of today. And here's the other pile, which includes something that's really a good, that's not a book exactly, but it's really a set of really great CDs. And I don't really have a CD player anymore. So haven't listened to them in years and years, not going to listen to them in this format. So gonna let them go. I recorded that first video while I was in a big hurry to get out the door yesterday. I had a lot to do before getting ready for a big Burns Night event for which I had to wear my tux, which I almost decluttered because I never wear it. In fact, guess what I found inside of the jacket pocket? The ticket stub from the last time I wore it, which was also a Burns Night event, but in January of 2020. Yes, just before the pandemic. So, if I only wear it every four years, maybe I don't need it. But it was nice to just go to my closet and not have to rent or borrow one. Also, I'm so grateful for YouTube because that's how I learned to tie a bow tie in less than an hour. Anyway, I just wanted to add a couple of things to today's video message. First of all, as I'm nearing the end of the 30-day decluttering challenge, I'm realizing that maybe I'm not really a messy person at all. I just had way too much stuff. My cabinets, shelves, and drawers are looking a lot tidier and more organized, even though I haven't been doing any conscious organizing, just decluttering. I suddenly realized that every time I was cleaning my room or my apartment, I was really just clutter shuffling. I was just moving crap from one place to another, and if it was hidden out of sight, I guess I considered my space to be cleaned up. But now that those things are really gone, I feel like I have a much more honest tidiness around my space and there are no nasty surprises waiting for me when I open a closet door or look under my bed. And just for good measure, here are two more random things that I found to declutter. Expired bottle of prune juice. A little over three years ago, I had a surgery and was told that I might experience some constipation afterward as a result of the pain-killing medication. Well, I was so nervous about the constipation 
that I bought this prune juice, but I only needed that heavy duty painkiller for one day, which did not cause any poop situation that required the prune juice. I held onto it anyway, just in case. Well, it expired in August of 2022. And if I was never desperate enough to drink the fresh prune juice, I can't imagine ever being desperate enough to drink the very expired prune juice. And finally, here's a shiny and beloved perfectly good but useless office tool that I'm getting rid of. My single hole puncher. 45 years ago as a little kid in the 1970s, a single hole puncher was a beautiful thing. It was one of the most useful and fun tools that I had in the house. But now that I don't really use paper that needs holes punched in it, it's a completely useless tool that only has a sentimental energy to it. I don't use it, my kid certainly doesn't use it, and so it's going away. <laughs>